this is the final video in our DIY Kate Bush Red Wuthering Heights costume tutorial. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to complete your dress with a pixie hem. So uh, the most important part of this uh, of cutting your uh, pixie hem is to make sure that you lay your dress correctly otherwise you're going to end up having uneven points so it will be um, higher in the back and lower in the front or vice versa. So uh, we will look at two ways of doing it. We will um, first cut the points uh, using um, scissors or a cutting wheel and then uh, sealing it with a no fray um, glue, glue seal that you can buy at a haberdashery store. The second way we will do it is uh, using a soldering iron if you have that and that will also just seal the edges. You don't need to do these things, you can just keep it with a, a raw edge. Um, just beware that it will probably fray over time just a little bit. But um, you know, it's, it's certainly not going to show up uh, when you're dancing. So yeah, once we have done that, we will be uh, at the end of our tutorial and we'll have a complete dress. Uh, to finish it off, you will want to couple it with um, a rose collar, uh, some kind of black, uh, preferably with a bit of a floral print scarf to tie around your waist, um, a rose in your hair, and uh, some red tights, and you will look fantastic. So I'm going to, once again, use uh, photographs with the instructions written over the top of it. Uh, feel free to pause if I'm moving too quickly. And um, yeah, afterwards, uh, be sure to go visit me on Facebook at Kate's Red Kathy Costume. And that will link to my uh, The Most Wuthering Heights Day event um, in Melbourne that is happening on the 13th of July. And in the About section, I actually have a list of all the different global events. So you can have a look and see if there's something happening near you. Uh, and otherwise, yeah, um, happy weathering and yeah, I hope you love your dress. Bye for now. As mentioned, there is a second method for cutting and sealing your uh, fabric, so that is to use a soldering iron. So these are, um, I guess, an electrical tool, normally used for wiring, but they cut and seal uh, fabric, uh, well, synthetic fabric anyway, um, very well. So uh, just be very careful when using these because the tips get extremely hot and if they come in contact with your fabric, if you're not watching, it will go up very, very quickly. Um, you will also need a, uh, sorry, just putting it down safely. You'll also need a piece of glass to protect your table. 
uh, and that's what you will operate on and also you will want a metal ruler for running down along the edge of so always test first with a remnant piece of fabric uh, that way um, you know like you can make sure that the temperature is hot and it's and it's cutting through nicely uh, and um, I'm just going to use a remnant to to demonstrate how this works and uh, yeah um, if you're feeling confident then you can go ahead and do your full pixie hem that way and it works really well okay so I've just drawn uh, a zigzag here on a piece of paper and popped it underneath my glass and that will uh, just give me I guess a guide of where I'm going to be um, cutting so I've got my remnant piece of fabric and I'm just going to lay it out here with my glass Okay, so using my straight edge ruler, I'm just going to lay it down against one of these points here. And using my soldering iron. Now, one thing, um, the edge that you uh, are wanting to remain on your dress, that is the side that you will put your uh, ruler against. Uh, the section that you're cutting out, that's where you'll use your um, your soldering iron. I hope that makes sense. So, and then you're just going to run the iron down the edge here. Just a couple of times, quite fast. If you leave it too long, it can actually burn through. And then just gently pulling apart along that line. And as you can see here, you will have a, uh, yeah, quite a nice neat cut that has also uh, melted the, um, the uh, synthetic fabric and, yeah, and so it's sealed as well. Thank you.